Well, new at 10 next week, Greenville's new development code will go into effect. The new code will be the guide for how Greenville grows over the next several years. And the main focus of the code is on development, but it could also impact where people stay when they visit our area. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris joins us live in studio with more. Yeah, with this new code in place, Greenville is following many other cities by restricting short term rental use to only certain zones. Short term rentals include Airbnbs or VRBOs. There are hundreds around the city. Some host are worried the new rules could impact the income they depend on. It's like they are looking for that homely environment. Linda Goulart began renting two rooms in her historic mill house eight years ago. There's people that want to be in a hotel. There's people that don't want to be in a hotel. So this is a second choice for them. She became a host after a costly renovation of the house. Renting rooms helps her keep it afloat. Having that supplement income coming in from the Airbnb rooms reassures that I will be able to keep this house going and paying the bills for this house. <laughs> so it is a big a big help. According to Airbnb, 2022 data shows Greenville hosts earned about $13,000 a year on average. Now Goulart's worried about keeping her extra income because of the new city rules. In our neighborhoods, there won't be any new Airbnbs through special exception. Councilwoman Dorothy Dow says the old policy allowed short term rentals anywhere in the city as long as you had a special exemption permit. The new code erases that permitting option and only allows short term rentals within the central business district downtown or corridors like Lawrence Road. Existing short term rentals that now have a special exception can continue to operate. She says the rule change was sparked by residents concerns. Perhaps insufficient parking when someone's trying to have a short term rental without permission and they don't have enough parking. Goulart is just outside the city limits, even though the rule doesn't impact her now. She's hoping a new state bill making its way through the house will overturn Greenville's new policy and protect her Airbnb as the city limit lines expand. You have to be really clear of what zoning, what district you're in, so you know what you're up against. And if you have any questions about how the new development code might impact you, the city is hosting more learning labs with planning staff. The first session is Wednesday from 2 to 6 at the Prisma Health Welcome Center in Unity Park. We'll have the other dates on foxcarolina.com.